Today is Armed Forces Day, and we're here at the Colorado Veterans Monument, downtown Denver, Colorado, near the state capitol, to uh, honor and remember all of those who have served and those who have fallen in all the wars throughout our nation's history. Um, and I'd especially like to remember my stepson, David Sonka. He was a dog handler in the Marine Corps, and on May 4th, 2013, himself, his dog, and another Marine named Eric Christian were killed in Afghanistan, defending our rights and our freedoms to be here today. So I just want to take a moment and remember him, and here's a picture of him. Yes, this here is our, uh, our plaque that we use. It's got the 12 main designated wars from uh, United, that the United States has fought with uh, clippings and, um, and newspaper articles and uh, weapons and uniforms that each one, each one wore. It, it, on the deal, if you look, the women's uh, army uniforms started showing up in World War I. Prior to that, the uh, females dressed in men's clothing. So um, this here's quite unique. It took Tim Hanley is the guy who put it together. It took him uh, se several months and many hours every day to, to contribute this to uh, completely do this. And uh, I think he's done a wonderful job. And it's covered, like I said, it covers all 12 wars. And uh, it is a special plaque that we're given mostly to the high schools and uh, to the family that uh, they're, they're very proud to hang this up in their, in their school for uh, their... Go ahead and speak. Go ahead, you. you want to talk about the coat I mean... Yeah, I met uh, three of the code talkers back in 2000. They came up for a special ceremony. Two were from uh, New Mexico and one was from uh, Arizona. The, uh, I was born and raised basically with them in Mandan, the Mandan Indians, the Cree, the Blackfoot the Lakota, the Hidatsa, and um, the Navajo. And um, uh, you notice that the when they went into the service, they usually picked, usually picked the Marine Corps because they were a tough breed. They, uh, they, they, they enjoyed uh, the, the, the glamour, but they also wanted to be tested. I, I never met an Indian in my life that never wanted to be tested. They always wanted to be tested, and that's that's why I have a deep respect for the American Indian. Okay, go. So, uh, our organization is called Fallen Heroes Honored, and what we do is we provide honor, healing, and remembrance to our fallen heroes and their families. Our vision is to preserve the honor and legacy of our fallen heroes and provide healing to their families through commemorative fallen hero Bibles. We also support the armed services, active duty, and veterans across the country. What we do is we do two things here. We create fallen hero Bibles. And what's unique about the fallen hero Bible is it's a commemorative Bible that captures the stories, memories, pictures, and prayers about our fallen heroes from their families, their friends, and their brothers in arms that they serve with. And we put that into a Bible with the full scripture behind it. We have a unique section inside of it called America Never Forgets, which is a section where we collect words of encouragement and prayers from Americans across this country. We put that in the Bible, we put that into a nice case, and then we present this to the families to honor their son or daughter's legacy and to help them heal, as, as I mentioned. We also send out field Bibles to the troops and we hand them out to veterans as well to help them uh, to deal during their times and trials that everybody has to deal with. And that's, uh, that's, our, that's what Fallen Heroes is about. Oh, good. Website. Okay, website, you can, you can find us. Uh, 
volunteershonor.org. We are a nonprofit, 501c3 organization. We are also on Facebook. We post daily at Facebook slash Fallen Heroes Honor. One of the things that's important about what we do is we do this full time. Uh, we're a nonprofit organization, as I mentioned. You can go to fallenheroeshonor.org and make a donation there. We also would appreciate a monthly support because of what we do. It takes a lot of time, and we have volunteers, but it costs quite a bit of money to produce an actual Fallen Hero Bible with the printing and shipping, and your support is greatly needed. We thank you, God bless you, and God bless America.